Good morning, Simon. Yeah, this has been such a fun morning. Really cool to hang out with Anna here in my living room. We are apart and yet virtually together. I love it. And if you missed it earlier, um, Anna taught me how to make this harmonica. <laughs> Beautiful music I'm making. And now we're doing something cool with vegetables. I have a lemon and I have dish soap. Anna, take it away. What are we doing here? Now we're going to talk about pH testing. This is actually our very last try this at home activity, which you can find instructions on how to do this on the Michigan Science Center's website, or you can tune in to one of our Echo Live programs. So on the table, I have some pretty interesting ingredients. Now, in this cup, I've actually boiled some of this red cabbage. Uh, red cabbage is not really red. It's this purple color because it has an ingredient called anthocyanin, which acts as a natural pH indicator. Um, so I asked you to grab some materials too, because today yes. we'll be talking about acids and bases. Now you have a lemon there. I do. Um, and will you do me a favor and will you take a little taste of that lemon and tell me how does it taste? Oh boy, anything for you, Anna. Okay, I'm gonna taste my lemon here, my little slice of lemon. Woo! I'm awake. It is sour, really sour. It's very sour, and <laughs> sour is a good indication that something is acidic. Oh, now, right okay. behind me, I have our pH scale using red cabbage. If things turn red, that means they're an acid. If they turn yellow, they mean they're a base. So let's test our vinegar, um, which is very, very similar to lemon juice. And let's go ahead and pour it in our first beaker here. And look at that wow. color change almost immediately, right? So we wow. can tell that this uh, vinegar, just like your lemon juice, is pretty acidic. Now, the next one I have is baking soda. Uh, so let's just take a look at what color we get with the baking soda here. Um, now, baking soda is what we call a very mild base. And so you can see if I stir it up a little bit, really mix in that baking soda, uh, we get this kind of blue color. So if you think about my pH scale behind me, uh, blue, right, tells us that it's a base. All right, now you have another ingredient there. Yes. Um, so taste isn't the only indication of whether something is an acid or a base. Will you touch just a little bit and describe to me how it feels in your hand? Yeah, this is dish soap, and I'm very happy you're not asking me to taste my dish soap. Oh, <laughs> please don't. <laughs> it is a, a very slimy, and Saima, this is so cool. So we're going to see, you've got dish soap there also, Anna. And I do have dish soap. Um, I, so most cleaners, like dish soap or even Windex, are bases and generally they feel pretty slippery like you just uh, described there so we'll go ahead and pour that in there and you can see that this is even more basic we now see kind of a green uh shift in ph oh, so wow. this is a stronger base than our um, baking soda was this is so cool and i know Sima, you're probably watching <laughs> wondering i mean i'm just amazed that you can do all of this with cabbage right it is amazing. I'm actually going to text my husband right now to next time he goes on the grocery get run, get cabbage. some red cabbage. <laughs> <laughs> my kids are going to absolutely love this. Jennifer, and this is yeah. such great information. And I, I know. know that the Science Center really relies on uh, ticket sales and people coming yes. in. Is there any way we could support them during this stay at home order? Yeah, absolutely. This is so cool because these experiments that they're going to be leading you through or sometimes just demonstrating for you to give you these lessons are completely free. You don't have to pay a dime, but they are asking if you're able to give a donation on their website. We've put a link on our website. They do badly need these donations, but the programming is completely free of charge and they'd love for you all to be participating.